Hello, Bud. How you doing? Peace. What's up, Daniel? I, I want to apologize straight away because I've just ran here from a house viewing. So if I sound out of breath and sweaty, it's not because of you. It's because I am really unfit. So apologies for that straight away. Take your turn. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Because I actually at one point I'd say, I can't, I can't see the garden. I've got an interview to go to. So if I miss, if I lose this house, can I live with you? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. You'll just be on film sets. This is one of the most powerful casts in cinematic history. I mean, you appear alongside this incredible all-star black cast with Idris, Regina, Lakeith. Who was the one person you was most excited to work with for the first time? Ooh. 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 I can't call it. I can't call it. Everybody for different reasons. Um, but I will say this. I did, and it didn't make the movie. I don't believe it. I don't believe it made the movie. But there was a... a, a a two-hander scene between uh, Lakeith Stanfield and I uh, that didn't make the movie. Um, but I requested, um, me and James spoke, our director, and I, I said, we got to have it. We got to have this scene. Uh, and we did shoot it. It didn't make the movie, but we did shoot it. Um, there's something about um, just the dynamic and the relationship between Nat Love and Cherokee Bill that I really wanted to explore more. Um, so I did make that request, but I mean, so much of it, like Driss, Driss was actually on the film before I was, you know, so I knew I was getting, I knew what was happening with him and, and that was one of the driving factors to to do it. And then the rest of it was just blessings on blessings. I mean, every day I came to work, it was, it was okay, you're gonna work with Zazie Beats today. Okay, cool, okay, you're gonna work with Regina King today, cool. And then the cheat sheet is, none of those people showed up. The only people I met were Cherokee Bill, Trudy Smith, Stagecoach Mary, you know what I mean, Rufus Buck, and uh, that was great. That was great, which is what makes them, you know, that all-star cast, as you said. And of course, you were reunited with your De Five Bloods dad and a man who, oh my God, one million percent deserved an Oscar, Delroy Lindo. How was it being back with him again on set? Well, Delroy, at this point, I mean, we we just we just have a way, you know, we just have a way. Mm. He, I remember him. He came to set. And we just we were like, yep, this is this is how we do it. Ready, ready, yep, cool. Let's go through it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Did you shoot it? That's rehearsal. Okay, we're good. We're good. You know, it's just it's such an easy flow, and the flow can easily push itself into, you know, comedy or push itself into drama because there's so much trust between us. Uh, and it was the first time that I'd um, I'd worked like that. You know, it, it was a recurring uh, partnership. You know, and I look, and it was so soon too. You know, so I really look forward to, to more of that. Everybody in this cast, I die to work with again. Oh, I'm I'm 100 percent starting a petition. Every film has to have you and Delroy in it from now on. Every film, there it is. I would watch that every day. Now, right. they say you should never work with animals, but you did. You did that. I mean, you on top of that horse throughout this entire film. How was that? Did did you? Did you lie on your CV about being able to ride a horse and just wing it on set, or did you know beforehand? Well, I'll tell you what. Um, oh, no, I knew. I knew that uh, horse riding was going to be mandatory, um, and I made a promise to myself that I was going to do all of it. Every single move that this fella did, that love did, I was going to do it, you know, um, and that took, uh, that took work, and, and I look at my history as far as, you know, being a horseman and all those things, and I just got some really good coaches and really good handlers that really helped me, you know. I mean, riding a horse is not a, uh, it's not easy, but it, but a lot of people can do it, you know. Um, but to act with a horse, uh, or better yet, to not act with a horse, to do stunts with a horse, I mean, there are professions. I mean, there's stuntmen, you know what I mean, that do that. They, and they do it, you know. Uh, so that was a huge challenge, you know, to kind of take on. But I felt that it needed to happen in order to be, you know, not love. You can't walk around like that. You can't talk like that if you can't ride that horse like that. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. so, so yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was a process. It was a process. I could, I could ride a horse before. My first, actually my very first feature, I rode a horse um, with the same Wranglers as we used uh, on the Heart of They Fall in New Mexico. Um, and actually, the fun fact, the horse I rode in this film is named Cinco, 
and uh, my friend and brother Jesse Plemons wrote Cinco and Hostiles. Um, um, no way. And, and his character Kidder and I, you know, we did ride together sometimes. So, uh, so yeah, but it was it was a steady process. I I didn't start from zero, um, but I didn't know that it was going to go to a hundred. <laughs> you know what I mean? Real quick as well, zero to a hundred, real quick. Your character Nat Love and it's just his <laughs> character Rufus Buck. They don't see eye to eye, which is why I want to continue this between you and Idris. Now, I spoke to him recently for the Suicide Squad, and he he told me some gossip about his his counterpart, John Cena. So I want you yeah. to, to return the favor. Is there anything really embarrassing about Idris from on set that you can tell me right now that I can pass on to Idris one day? Outlaw code. Outlaw code. I can't say it. Oh, really? It, see, and that just goes to show you that Suicide Squad code ain't worth shit. But the Harley they fall <laughs> code is real. He threw John Cena under that bus real quick. You're, well, you're you know, a stronger man. That's my brother. I wouldn't say I'm a stronger man. I'm just a different man. But yeah, yeah. that's my brother. Watching this, it made me realize that Loki really messed up that multiverse, didn't he? Here I am watching Kang hunt down Heimdall on top of a horse. Now, if that's, <laughs> not, if that's not in Ant-Man 3, I will sue. I want to watch that. Now, that's going to be a hard now, lawsuit. <laughs> I'll have a word with Kevin, me and him, we're tight. I'm sure he'll listen to me. Is there one thing that you can tell me about your appearance as Kang that you haven't told anyone yet? It can be anything. I rehearsed He Who Remains uh, in New Mexico with a, uh, uh, a with, with, with a family. And I, um, I couldn't tell them what I was doing. Uh, but I, I would throw lines at them every now and then to see if they could to see if they could if they could tell I I had shifted a bit um, and I began to walk around um, in New Mexico because uh, we shot them at the same time um, yeah I, used to, I, I would walk around and, and go to my uh, my local uh, and kind of move and talk and walk uh, like he who remains uh, just to rehearse it a little bit. That may be boring, but that's, that's that. <laughs> Don't tell Robert Downey Jr. Or, or, you know, Scarlett Johansson, but he who remains might be one of my favorite MCU characters because of you. So, well done, mate. I saw you at the Bond premiere and you looked so sharp that pictures of you could have cut me. That's how sharp you looked. Thank now, you. of course, we know Idris is a front runner to play Bond, yep. but... I don't think you couldn't take it on. Who do you think would make a better 007, you or Idris? i just say... it has got to be... I mean, they'd be different, wouldn't they? They'd be, too, they'd, be, they'd be different. They'd be different. You know, it's funny. He, we both could do it. <laughs> he, he, he'll take it first, um, as it's his time. And uh, I'll come up behind him in and, and, and regular fashion and you know, pick up where you left off. Well, I'm not saying any pressure, but you are my favorite MCU character. You could quite possibly be my favorite Bond man. No pressure, oh, just saying. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to have to uh, see you later. I'm going to see if I can get that house now. Back to the house, well, congratulations. You You're going to get it. Oh, get it. thank you, bud. Look forward yeah. to chatting you again. See you later, mate. Peace, pit.